Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the two remaining types of networks, which is the metropolitan area network and the other is the wide area network. And after these, we will also be looking into subnets and internet works. Okay. So now starting with metropolitan area network. In the previous videos, we have studied about personal area networks and local area networks. Now, when we talk about metropolitan area network, basically it is a network that spans a wider or a larger area, even uh, more than a local area network. So the range of communication for this metropolitan area network will be a city. So a network that is as large as a city, like a cable TV network is known as a metropolitan area network. Okay. So, cable TV network is an example of metropolitan area network or a MAN. Okay, metropolitan also refers to the word city. So, uh, this is the largest area that can be covered by a MAN. Okay, now another example of metropolitan area network is the uh, high speed wireless internet that you get in the form of WiMAX. Okay, and WiMAX has been given the standard name of IEEE 802.16. So this is a MAN that means a metropolitan area network which provides high speed internet access and it is wireless in nature and it can span as large area as a city. Okay, now next we come to wide area network. Definitely you would now notice that as we are progressing further, the networks that we are considering are becoming larger in their physical size. So the range of communication for a WAN or a wide area network is a country or a continent. Okay, so a network that uh, that is spread across different countries or that is spread across different continents is known as a wide area network okay so uh, multiple cities are in a country when they are connected together they form a wide area network and the most common example of this can be your internet service providers because the offices of internet service provider or isps are spread across different parts of a single country or even across different continents you also call your is uh, the internet service provider as ISPs. Okay, another example of this can be uh, the uh, any company, any multinational company that has its offices across different cities of the same country or even across different countries. Say a company XYZ has an office in India, then in Australia and then also in the US. So if the company wants to connect all these offices it will build a network and that network would be a wide area network okay so if a company is present only within uh, multiple locations of a single city it will be known as a metropolitan area network now one important thing that you must remember about a wide area network is that it consists of different sub networks since the geographical uh, location of a van is very large it spans a very large geographical area so we can divide a van into sub networks or what we also known as subnets okay so subnet what is uh, the meaning of a subnet subnet is only that hardware architecture which consists of either transmission lines or switching elements so basically these are the two parts of a subnet the parts that make up a subnet okay parts of a subnet so a van can be divided into multiple sub networks which we know as subnets and subnets comprise of transmission lines that means the communication channels the links through which actually communication uh, takes place between the hosts present in a network and switching elements so switching element can either be routers they can be switches bridges hubs etc so these 
switching elements are those devices which are connected to more, two or more um, transmission lines and they direct the packets that are traveling on a network from one location to another. So uh, you can imagine if you have a host A then you have a host B and here is a switching element say router, router X. Then the uh, traffic that is coming from A as well as from B this router will decide to which transmission line the traffic coming from these two hosts will be sent forward whether it will be sent to D whether it will be sent to C or so on. So switching elements take such decisions of how of forwarding the packets of forwarding the information that are crossing them okay. So now coming to the last topic of this video which is the internet work. So as you must have guessed the internet is the short form of internet works and what do we mean by an internet work? It is basically a collection of connected networks. So a large number of networks which are generally of different types when we connect these networks of different types so that communication between them is possible they can exchange information then we form the internet work or the largest network as we know today which is the internet okay now the internet or any internet work consists of two main parts firstly is the subnet because definitely uh, any network which is as large as a wide area network will consist of a subnet which comprises of the transmission lines and the switching elements. Now in this diagram you can see apart from this transmission line and apart from this switching elements the elements that are present or the entities that are present are the hosts. So any network uh, which is a uh, very large which spans a large geographical area will consist of subnet as well as host so these are the two components of an internet work these were the two components of a subnet now a subnet along with the hosts connected to the transmission lines will form a network and when multiple networks will be connected together they will form an internet work okay now there is an important device the name of a device is gateway that you must know when we are talking about interconnection and communication between different devices. So a gateway is a device that allows different types of networks to communicate with each other. So it is a device used for connecting two or more different networks to make appropriate communication possible. Okay. Now what do we mean by uh, a gateway or appropriate communication possible? So uh, since it is possible that different types of networks follow different rules for communication among themselves. So there must be an intermediary channel or there must be an intermediary node that manages and uh, solves all the differences between multiple networks that have to be connected together and makes communication possible. So a gateway is just like a translator. If you know English language and your friend only knows French, then a gateway acts like a translator. It helps different types of networks to connect with each other and communicate in a way so that the uh, no network in itself has to change majorly but the communication is made possible okay so uh, uh, you'll study about these concepts in detail as we move, move forward in this course for this lecture these were the topics that we had to cover today the man van and internet works thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam